Most everyone can agree that receiving a good education is the primary goal of school systems in the United States, but the classes and lessons taught in school become centered on standardized tests, the SATs, advanced placement tests, and other common examinations, and because of this, banned programs in schools, especially elementary schools, have suffered, and children are not getting the proper music education they need in elementary schools. Is there a band program at the elementary school you work at? No. There are no band programs at the elementary level in Rockingham County. Um, the reason is because of funding cuts across the state. Um, there isn't money for the arts like there was when I was growing up. We had orchestra at the elementary level. Also, it's due to time constraints um, due to the increased rigor in, for standardized testing. There's uh, more time in the day has to be committed to core instruction time and less is available for free time like recess. Uh, currently in Rockingham County, we offer music one day a week for 30 or 45 minutes based on uh, the grade level and art is offered one day a week for 30 or 45 minutes also on the grade level, but that art is even only half a year in Rockingham County. So the cutbacks, they're cutting more and more um, of the arts out of the school program. Elementary schools offer some music education, but often it consists of only some choir and learning to play a few instruments, such as the recorder and the xylophone. The elementary schools that do have band programs are usually just for fifth graders. Schools are misunderstanding the helpfulness of band programs. Instead of being limited, band programs should be expanded to all elementary schools for all grades because they are worth investment and children should be able to have the option to learn an instrument at a younger age. Was there a band program offered at your elementary school? No, we weren't offered a band program. We had a general music class, which was just learning how to play the recorder and the xylophone and sort of learning how to read music. We weren't offered a band course until sixth grade in middle school. What grade did you start playing in band? I started playing trumpet in the sixth grade band in middle school. Was a band program offered in your elementary school? No, but we had a choir, which was basically also a theater group, so we acted and sang, and we also learned how to play recorders, which I don't count as band. About what age or grade did you first learn to play an instrument? Okay, so when I was in first grade, I learned to play piano, and then in the school system, I was in sixth grade when I started playing flute. Many studies have shown that band and music in general leads to increased development in certain areas of the brain that then foster higher IQs and a deeper understanding of academic subjects, such as math and reading, because it stimulates both the creative side and the logical side of children's brains, which is important for children of younger ages. According to Janice Osnowski, in an article she wrote about the importance of music, art, and physical education, music helps to develop spatial intelligence, which allows students to visualize how elements fit together, which is required in solving math problems. This development is particularly important in children ages 2 to 9. Additionally, a study at the University of Toronto found a small increase in IQ scores in 6-year-olds who received 9 months of weekly voice and piano lessons. Do you think playing music helps you with other subjects? Yes, definitely. It's definitely helped me a lot um, as far as math and science go, especially this year we started learning about waves and physics and I was able, able to apply what I learned about like frequency and stuff in music to that. And then also math, music, it's all about math. But I think the most important thing that it taught me, especially being in marching band, is the thing about teamwork or really band in general because you kind of need everybody and you need everybody to work together and be really good. And so when you're working, you know, it's you can't really find any other setting or any other group, like sports team, where every single person has to be there and perform their best. So that's a subject where music has helped me. Music programs also help with communication skills. The lessons allow them to communicate with each other in a different way than standard academic curriculums. They work together to achieve a great ensemble and individual sound, which also leads to helping them make more friends. Because 
it's fun. It's a break from school work. And I met a lot of really, really good friends in band. Do you find it is easier to make new friends that are also in band, and why? Yes, definitely. Because from the get-go, if you see someone that's wearing something like bandy, then you have you automatically have something you can connect with them. Like coming here to college, it was really cool meeting people that were like, "Oh, you're in marching band," or you know, because you had something to talk about and you had shared experiences. Like there are some things that apply to all band kids, so you definitely had something you could talk about um, with each other. Do you find it is easier to make new friends that are also in band, and why? I think it's a lot easier to make uh, friends in band because you're around them so many times, especially with marching band, with band camp and everything. For example, I met my friend Anna uh, the first week because she lives right next to me in college, and we were both going to band camp all day, every day. And so it was fun to have somebody to go with, and we all have a common interest, and so it's just people you can hang around. There are numerous instruments for children to choose from, so they can find the one that they find the most pleasure in playing. Learning to play different instruments also allows children to have a fun and creative outlet and also relieve stress. If children do not find music or playing an instrument to be enjoyable, then they know early in their education whether or not to commit and further their music education in middle and high school. Do you think it would be beneficial for children to be able to learn an instrument or multiple instruments in elementary school rather than waiting until middle school? I think that that's definitely something that should be considered. Like, um, I grew up in Southeast Virginia, so there it was normal to learn in sixth grade, but then we would compete with other schools or, you know, especially like in individual kind of auditions, like in district band or state band. And I know that in Northern Virginia, they started when they were in about fourth grade. So I know that in places where you don't start in elementary school, you kind of have a little bit of a disadvantage. And so I think it would definitely be beneficial to get a lot of schools on the same page. Would you have liked there to be a band program at your elementary school? Yes, I wish there had been a band program because I had to pay for private lessons to learn how to play the piano. And I had to find out later than sooner that I was better at art than I was at music. Even though I liked playing instruments, I just wasn't my thing. Do you think having a band program would be beneficial to, for the school and or the students? I think a band program would be very beneficial, um, especially at the youngest level, um, which would be a great time for kids to learn the instruments, but also the increased focus on STEM. There are children who will never excel in science um, and math, and to have an outlet like art, um, as well as an opportunity to excel. We do have a lot of kids who are very talented already, but just to have a way for them to express themselves beyond core ac academics, I think it would be very beneficial. You know, there's a limited amount of time that you're going to get with kids at that age because of the, uh, the SOL requirements and all of their other uh, academic requirements. So what you do with that music could prepare them for a career in band, or it could also cr prepare them for a life as a musician where they learn other types of music and other styles of music. If they learn the basic functions of rhythm, pitch, harmony by listening to music and participating in music in general music at an earlier age, they may be better off down the road. If we want them to be great instrumentalists, then absolutely starting them in the, the third, fourth, and just fifth grade. You know, the Suzuki program and strings starts kids with little, little violins and they're playing like this, uh, and the payoff is huge. There are school systems that start band in fifth and sixth grade, and the high school bands play very well because of it. The middle school bands play very well because of it. Although having band programs in elementary schools is not easy to attain, it is possible to accomplish. For the students that choose to take band in earlier grades, such as second and third grade, because they often do not have the lung capacity for most wind instruments, they can learn percussion and string instruments and form an orchestra or percussion ensemble. For fourth and fifth grades, the children that want to be in band could then start to learn wind instruments or have the option to stay with percussion and be a part of a full wind ensemble or stay in the orchestra. If an hour or two a week in total was set aside for band classes, then this goal would be achieved. Music education is a small cost within the overall budget, and there are grants and sponsors that are willing to help fund music education programs. Band education is useful in every part of the curriculum, so instituting them in elementary schools, too, is worth the investment.